This is amazing. Now we are going to do a business product launch using Crew AI. It will create a business plan for us, research goals, and give us a timeline. At the end, you will get an output like this, where you have a business plan, the list of goals, and then timeline for a product launch. In this case, I gave a laptop stand as input. We will also create a user interface like this, where you enter your product name, which you want to launch, and it will go through your competitors, and it will do an in-depth market analysis and give us the business plan, goals, and the timeline. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm really excited to show you about business product launch using Crew AI. Generally in a business, we'll have a market research analyst, a technology expert, and business consultant. They work together to understand about the market, the technology behind, and put forth the plan for a product launch. But now, this is being replaced by AI agents. In today's example, we are going to see how Agent 1, that is the market research analyst, is going to research the market, send the information to technology expert, and then send it to a business consultant. They all work together in a framework called Crew AI, as a crew. Firstly, we'll create a crew. Next, we'll add the tools required for the crew to perform the task. And thirdly, we are going to create a user interface. I'm going to take you through step by step on how to do this. But before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned. Make sure you click the like button. So this video will be helpful for many others like you. First, make sure you install Langchain Community, Langchain Crew AI, Langchain Open AI, Langchain Core, Gradio, and DuckDuckGo search using pip install. Next, Export your OpenAI API key like this and then click enter. Now we're going to create a file called app.py and then let's open it. In the file, we're going to import OS. Next, import agent task crew process from crew AI. Then duck, duck search run. Then tool, gradio as gr. Now we're going to initialize the duck, duck go search run by calling the duck, duck go search run function. This is used to search the internet to do a market research. Next, we're going to create a function called create crew AI setup and we'll provide the product name. As you can see here, we are going to create these three agents now. Define agents. First agent is market research analyst. He's going to analyze the market demand for the product which we are going to enter and suggest market strategies. Next, the agent number two is the technology expert agent. He's going to assess technological feasibilities and requirements for producing high quality product. Next, we are gonna create the third agent who is the business consultant and he is going to give us a report based on all the research done and the report provided by the technology expert. The agent is going to evaluate the business model for the product and focusing on scalability and revenue streams. Now we are gonna define the list of tasks to provide for the agent. The first task is to analyze the market demand for the product and write a report on the ideal customer profile, strategies to reach the widest possible audience, and include at least 10 bullet points addressing the key marketing areas. That task is assigned to the market research analyst. Next, we are gonna create another task, task two. This task is assigned to technology expert to assess the technological aspects of manufacturing, high quality product, write a report detailing necessary technologies and manufacturing approaches include at least 10 bullet points on key technological areas. And thirdly, we are going to create third task and going to assign to the business consultant. This business consultant is going to summarize the market and technological reports and evaluate the business model, write a report for scalability and revenue streams on the product, and it will include 10 bullet points on key business areas. Next, we are going to create the crew and then run. We are going to name it as product crew with the three different agents and three different tasks. To run product and crew, and then kick off. Finally, we are returning the result. Now we're gonna create another function for the Gradio application, Gradio interface. This will initialize the crew AI setup function. That is a function which we defined earlier here in line number nine, then return the results. We will create a variable iface, gr.interface, and then provide the function, input text, output text, give a title, crew AI business product launch, and then description. Finally, iface.launch, that's it. As a quick summary, we created three agents, market research analyst, 
technology expert and business consultant. Then we created task for all the three agents. Finally, we grouped them together as a crew and started running it. To create a Gradio interface, we added the input and the output. The input will be the name of the product you want to launch and the output will be the business product launch report. So we are using a tool called DuckDuckGo search, which we have mentioned here. This is used to search the internet and get the latest trends in regards to the product. Now I'm going to run this code. In your terminal, Python app.py and then click enter. Seems like I made a mistake in the name of the function. So I need to mention run crew AI app. I made the change going back to my terminal, Python app.py and then click enter. And now I can see the application is running in this URL. I'm going to click that. And now I'm in the interface. I'm going to type laptop stands. So as a company, I'm planning to launch a laptop stand product. So I want to understand the market and a complete business product launch plan. So I've entered the laptop stand here and then click submit. Now it is processing in the backend. So now when we come to the backend, you can see the first agent is doing market research in regarding to the laptop stands. It's delegating work to the coworker. I can see the agents are talking to each other. So as a business consultant, I would propose the following strategies for the laptop stand. Scalability, revenue streams, partnership, online sales, and market research, customer engagement. Here's the report on ideal customer profile and marketing strategies for laptop stand. Ideal customer profiles, marketing strategies. Again, to do further research is again searching DuckDuckGo search. That is a search engine which we are using here for our research. It finished running now. Now I got the response, which is very in-depth. The laptop stand is growing with an expected value of 0.54 billion by 2028. Provides the key competitors. It provides the market gap. The rise in remote work has increased the need of ergonomic solutions. How the laptop can be designed by using 3D CAD modeling software to ensure the design of scalable and diverse laptop stands cater to different customer needs, sustainable manufacturing, quality control, and effective packaging design. This is really amazing. I'm really excited about this, that you are able to enter a product name and you get a complete report in regards to the business plan to launch a product. The interesting thing is that it is discussing about key features and technology aspects such as ergonomic design, cooling mechanism, portability, the material to use, the functionality. And when manufacturing a high quality laptop stand, it's telling us to use the 3D CAD modeling software, precision manufacturing, and it provides more details, thermal design, lightweight and durable materials, mechanical engineering, surface finishing technologies, and much more. This is going in depth in regards to every aspect that a business owner need to concentrate. Is this really going to remove the business development team from the company? Or is this going to enhance the team members? Do let me know in the comments below. I'm going to create more videos similar to this. So stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe. And thanks for watching.